Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing as the British Empire. Alright, so in the last episode, we attempted we attempted to uh, conquer Japan here and uh, just weren't able to get it done. We can see what they've got here. I mean, this isn't all of their units, obviously. Um, you know, this is the ones along the coast that our ships have seen. And so you can, you can now see that there's a stupid number of divisions on each one of these uh, uh, crossings here. So yeah, we're just never going to be able to cross there uh, with what we have here. Really, probably ever without nukes. Uh, so we're going to try that invasion here. But again, uh, Japan is no longer going to be our focus. We're going to be switching gears, guys, to focus a little bit more on, or to focus period on the Americans, because we're going to declare war on them. We haven't, we haven't even fought them yet. So what we're going to do with these units here... And I'm going to set them up to do a naval invasion uh, for, well, we already discussed this last episode, but yeah, we're going to be doing the naval invasion over here. Uh, let's have them take the railroads, by the way, because I don't want them to, uh, and I think we said we're going to do it right there. Because yeah, I don't want them to uh, go uh, by sea, because I think, by the you know, that would probably result in them getting caught up. Um, and I don't actually, you know what, they might not be able to go that way. Uh, yeah, they're in here. You know what? I'm just gonna let them go by themselves. I'm sure they can figure it out, right? Uh, so yeah, we'll let them go by themselves. Uh, and then let's go ahead and take any uh, units that we have um, here that are done training. And we're gonna place them to different locations. First of all, I wanted to get... Uh, I had this front built here, which I believe we need three divisions to cover the whole thing. You'll see that we now have three divisions to cover it. I pulled two divisions off of here. Also, it looks like we're not having as many supply troubles now. Uh, perhaps it's finally been fixed. I don't know. I don't know exactly how if somebody pulled units out or, or whatever the hell happened. Maybe finally from us pulling these units out, it, it had an effect there. Uh, but I did name uh, these guys, although still need to name these ones here. Uh, so this is one of your guys' suggestions, uh, Bulldogs. There was no like bulldog, like bulldog, uh, you know, picture that really looked like one. And there's a dog one here, or a wolf one, or I guess it's more like a wolf. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the closest thing. It doesn't really look like a bulldog, so I just went with the teeth. Uh, so that will be our bulldogs. Those are the 40 width infantry divisions, by the way. All right, so let's go ahead and get these units set up. Um, what we're going to want to do is we want to get these guys going. Uh, I think we have this one filled up, don't we? Yeah, we do, but we don't have medium tanks, so I think that it would be worth it to go ahead and bring these guys on over here. And what we'll want to do is just take a division out, uh, probably one of these motorized divisions, just take them out and place them somewhere else, uh, probably over here actually, because uh, we do need more divisions over here. So let's go ahead and place another one over here. Or place this guy, excuse me, over here. And it doesn't look like he's in a port, so we're gonna have to make him go to a port. Or, uh, even better, yeah, see, this is not. <laughs> That was not the right way to do that. Instead, let's take that guy out of Belize City and move him over here. There we go. That'll work a lot better. All right, so we'll move him over there because remember, we do got to get across here and we're going to attempt to break through here. You can see that they don't really have a lot of organization. Uh, I wonder if they're having supply issues. They might be. I would assume they're having some supply problems. So we're going to want to help out there against the, uh, the Americans that have done that invasion uh, right there. And, and you know, we're going to probably take a few more divisions and you know what? We have not defended the uh, any of our Pacific Islands yet. Uh, so we might want to bring some troops over here just so if they do like invasions, at the very least, we uh, oppose them uh, on those invasions. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to take some of these divisions, these crappier ones that are being built up, put them into that purple army that's right there. Uh, we'll just take all the ones here uh, that we see that are trained in our garbage. Uh, or at least we think are garbage. They have that reservist symbol, so I'm assuming that they're not good. And what do we have here? We have five. Yeah, we have five divisions. And we have these two better divisions. I don't know if we'll put those in there or not. Uh, frankly, there's not going to be a lot of room in this army. And then yeah, we're just going to get them going up to the, the coast. Or, uh, excuse me, up to these ports here. And let's do the ones that are closest to them. Uh, so we have this one here, uh, Tahiti. You've got that one as well. So let's just go ahead and start kind of sending them. I don't know if they'll even make it. <laughs> I suppose we'll find out. Uh, just so that if they do any invasions, uh, I mean, they still might be able to win, uh, but they at least have to, like, face, uh, some resistance, at least, uh, in some of these islands. And we could even send troops from some of our other locations over here that we have in the Pacific. Because, yeah, we, we got a lot of troops here defending, um, probably more than is necessary, although I guess not. Yeah, I guess we got the, about the right number, just in case they do, do, uh, do any invasions. 
All right, so I don't want to put the, the bigger troops there. I'm assuming these are, are bigger units. Yeah, we don't want to put those because those uh, ports, uh, they might not even be enough supply for them uh, because those are not large ports. Uh, so with these guys here, let's go ahead and just place them over here for right now. And we'll bring them uh, here. There should be enough supply there. All right, uh, so a lot of uh, stuff to get ready, guys. Um, I, I went ahead and started training these guys again because we've, we brought a, a lot of new ships to them. And so let's get them trained up because uh, it's it's pretty helpful having that combat bonus, especially for like the, the battleships and the carriers and stuff like that. So uh, also got these guys still training. Uh, we'll keep them training for now. Again, that was just for the experience. Uh, but we want to make sure that we have them. Everybody stop training before we start the war. I've also set up planes all throughout here, and anybody who is not up to regular experience level has been set to train, and these should be all filled out now. Uh, we've got uh, planes on their way, uh, and then we have planes going throughout this territory as well, and once again, they're all set up to, to train. So we'll be joining soon, um, but yeah, we do need to get all the, the planes to, and ships to their locations, get them trained up, uh, and yeah, I, I feel like uh, not rushing is, is a uh, good idea. Uh, would work out nicely for us. So yeah, we actually have the supply here. Interesting. Uh, and yeah, they're calling us into the conflict. I wonder why we have the supply, but they don't. Uh, I'm guessing it has to do with our ports. Um, we built this one up to level 10. I'm assuming that we're getting the supply through there. Uh, let's just take a look here. Uh, actually, no. The supply here is coming through this port. Okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why we're not getting supply or not getting attrition. Everybody else is, but I'm not going to complain about it. All right, so let's go and place those guys into the training army. Make sure we don't have anybody else done training. It needs to get placed, and then we're going to go ahead and probably just create like a new army for this situation. I don't know. I don't really know that we need an army. These guys look pretty damn weak. We might be able to do it without a planning bonus and all that kind of good stuff. Nah, I guess we'll try. And you know, what, guys, we're probably going to go have to go ahead and have to create a new. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we need to create a new, a new field marshal here, guys. So let's go and do that. Um, I guess we can get this research picked first. Uh, so we've got the next tactical bombers, and I think it's about time to finally get these strategic bombers. We're going to need those if we ever want to drop nukes. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get a new field marshal. Uh, I, I don't know if we have one, or if we... Yeah, we're going to have to... Damn, we're going to have to train one. All right, so for right now, we'll keep them here, even though we don't have a field marshal. That's okay. Uh, I don't know if we'll even get one that, with the next bit of political power we have either. Yeah, let me just see what all we're doing here. Uh, occupations, we could turn that down. Yeah, let's go and do that. Uh, occupied territory, uh, I think this is uh, probably Japanese territory. Uh, let's go ahead and say that we're not interested in doing that. We don't want to lose any uh, for any uh, further territory to take from the Japanese. And uh, also, uh, in addition to that, I would also like to do that for the Americans if I can remember too. I'll probably forget. Uh, let's go and put these guys over here. Uh, and I think that's, yeah, I think that's it. That's all we have. All right. Uh, so again, let's just let these guys all move around, do their damn thing, get all the planes trained, all that good stuff. Uh, a lot of movement from our own troops here. Uh, yeah, quite a bit of movement. Okay, uh, so yeah, we want to make sure that uh, these guys have got all their ships. Yeah, everything looking pretty good here. We did get a, another destroyer done, which I'm throwing all of the new destroyers into this one because I want to get them all up to level four, uh, level four destroyers. Uh, which did we just send them? Is that a torpedo destroyer or a? Okay, that is a anti-sub destroyer, sub hunters. All right, so let's go ahead and take a sub hunter level three out and uh, move him. I've been trying to fill out these ones with level 3s. Yeah, we only have one more left. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. I think we all have level 1. Uh, all the level 1's out. Excellent. Uh, just trying to, up, again, upgrade our, our fleets and stuff. I know that it's not like the most entertaining thing, guys, but it does need to be done. Uh, so let's get this level 2. Uh, I think we're moving them over to... Actually, I'm not entirely sure where I'm moving level 2s. Uh, I, I want to say we got these guys all filled out with level 2s. They're looking pretty good. So we can start putting them into our... Uh, well, you know what? Actually, these guys need them, don't they? Yeah. They're lacking destroyers pretty bad. All right, so we're going to be sending them to Asia then. Uh, so let's go ahead and move him over there now and uh, go ahead and take... Uh, did I already send him? Oh, no, no. That's right. We're sending him from over here. It's getting confusing, guys. <laughs> so uh, let's go ahead and take uh, one of these destroyers, these sub hundred destroyers, and then move him into there. There we go. So just... Rotating ships, man. It's it's super fun when you get to this point. You got to upgrade 
upgrade all your ships. Um, and yeah, they just continue to bomb us here. Uh, I think I sent some more planes here. Yeah, I did. Uh, so we have the ones here in the Sea of Japan now. Uh, and we still have the ones here in the home island. I guess we'll keep those there. Uh, what we need to do is probably get another air wing of fighters here. Uh, just to see what we've got going here. We have 800 here. That's definitely enough to maintain control there. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, one of the fighters. Or no, no, this is what we'll do. We'll take uh, get a new fighter uh, air wing here. And then bring him over here so that uh, maybe we can get control of that. I doubt, uh, I don't know if we'll send our, our ships over there or not. We were getting, we are taking some heavy losses there, so I don't really want to lose any more uh, ships if we can avoid it. All right, so let's get these guys going straight over here as soon as they get here. Have them do the air superiority there. All right. So uh, I think like a couple months, guys, would be my guess. That's uh, when we should be ready to join the war. Uh, but yeah, I've got everything pretty well set up, I think. And let's go and put these guys into here. That's probably going to take them all a long time to get over there. They are taking the railroads, though, so that's good. I was a little bit worried that they were going to uh, attempt to go by sea. We'll be going soon, man, soon. Just give me time. I know my allies are, must be getting incredibly impatient by now. Uh, because, yeah, we haven't, haven't joined the conflict yet. Yeah, but the Americans are just taking so much attrition here, guys. Uh, they've got to be, uh, yeah, they got to be hurting by this point. Uh, we've got another one of these guys, which we can go ahead and throw into that purple army. Uh, which, you know what? I'm not entirely sure which purple army is which. I think this is it. So that, yeah, this is the wrong one. My bad. It's getting confusing, guys. Uh, all the damn purples. Like we got another purple here. Uh, we should probably change some of these up, actually, because uh, yeah, it's getting. Uh, we've got too many of the same, uh, same colors here. All right, so what we're going to do with these guys is we'll make them, uh, I mean, they can be purple, uh, but we can just, yeah, do them like that. Or, uh, I mean, I guess that's fine. Uh, maybe even change up the purple a little bit, make it a little bit, no, there's already a, a lighter one. Hmm. Oh, and there's already a darker one. I guess we'll just know that it's that icon then. All right, so get those guys on there. And then we did throw the, the division here, uh, which needs to move to defend one of our ports. Now, I, I don't think we've defended here. Um... Let me see here. I guess we'd want to go to this one. Now, I, I don't know if those guys will get there in time. Uh, probably not. Before we join the war, I mean. Which means they could end up getting sunk by... Oh, uh, shit. Uh, by American submarines. Uh, we should also probably build more troops. Uh, just because we can. There's no reason not to. We've got the manpower. we got the equipment. So might as well get a few more divisions for ourselves. Get some more uh, motorized. I don't want to get too much motorized. In fact, I think we're not even going to do these motorized anymore. We've got enough motorized, I think. Uh, we do want to do the light tanks. Uh, we could go ahead and build out the medium tank division design, but again, we don't. I don't think we've ever researched that. Nah, we didn't. All right. And and really, more units is not what we need at the moment. Uh, right now, our our problem is there, there's there's other problems. Uh, we need. Uh, well, we need fronts that we're, that we're not going to exhaust supply. So we're going to train these guys up, but we're going to go ahead and set them up to do a naval invasion. I thought we had more troops here. Apparently not. Uh, and then what we're going to want to do is like do a naval invasion. I'm pretty sure they have all their ports well defended, uh, I would assume. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll try and hit Miami at first. Uh, I'm going to try to do a port if I can avoid, you know, doing it otherwise. Uh, any other way I think would be the best best way to do it. Uh, because, yeah, we don't want to have to build a port and all that kind of crap if we can avoid it. All right, so uh, we have um, nobody done training, but what we're going to do is we're going to put any new ones that get done into that army there. Now, we just got our national focus, and we got a new tech. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the focus selected first. Uh, there's a jet aircraft for the jet technology, uh, so we can research that. Uh, there's all the good stuff here as well, which we'd eventually want to get. And then, yeah, there's that one over there, which I don't know that we're going to get because it trade, changes the trade law, which I don't know that I want to do just yet. Not while we have a lot of other stuff to research. Uh, so let's go ahead and go after... I mean, I guess we can get some of the stuff here that might get attacked by American invasions. I highly doubt it, but you never know. They could end up doing some uh, some invasions. So what we'd want to do is... I don't Actually, I don't see us doing most of these. Yeah, we don't need to do... We don't need to do that one. Can't do... Uh, these two actually uh, can't do that one. Just seeing which ones we'd want to do, guys. Uh, some navy experience, Singapore land fort, anti-air. Yeah, you know what? 
I don't think we're going to need any of these, with the exception of maybe the Hong Kong one. Yeah, the Hong Kong one could be useful, and that's about it. And then we'll go down the Commonwealth ties. So we'll get that. Uh, it's three coastal forts, and maybe we could probably build them uh, ourselves, but that's fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and go after this one. Uh, get more surface detection organization. And looks like we're missing equipment for something. Missing equipment for medium tanks and medium self-propelled, but I'm not building any of those. Let me just take a look at what the hell's going on here. Like tank destroyers, huh. I'm gonna take a wild guess. Uh, oh, okay, that must be some of the divisions that we have. Okay, I see, uh, that we've gotten from allies and we need to use our equipment to replace them and we don't have that equipment, okay. Maybe we should uh, finally research the medium stuff, I don't know. Let's get this fly here a little bit faster. Get these guys into the training army. All right, so we should be ready soon. Uh, let's go ahead and let it go to October here, and then I'm gonna take a look at our planes and our ships and see how they're done, uh, how they're looking as far as training goes. So we've got these guys training. They're not quite done just yet. Uh, looking at these ones here, yeah, they're still still training up. If we want those bonuses, we might as well let them train. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, everybody's still training here as well. And yep. All throughout here. Okay, uh, how about over here? Yeah, I don't think it'd be somebody done training. Uh, so I know that some of these guys had a little bit of experience. That's why I'm, I'm checking them all. Uh, what we might want to go ahead and do is take these guys and move them over to here now. Uh, I decided to put tactical bombers here instead because really you can't cover this very well otherwise. Uh, and I think we're going to put tactical bombers over here as well. And it's just 100 tactical bombers just to, to sink any American ships that are through here, guys. Or to get any assistance. Uh, so... I think it's worth it. Let's go ahead and get these guys training up too. Just some some tactical bombers to kind of bomb uh, throughout here. Uh, we'll probably be wise to get tactical bombers to bomb throughout here as well. Um, we need to get all these air bases back, kind of short on air bases. In fact, we should probably build up. Oh, we actually already built one up. Uh, okay, yeah, that's right. I forgot we were building that up. I don't know if this will exhaust supply. Let's just take a look real quick and see how we're looking here. It looks like we're okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay right now. All right, so let's go and place some more planes here. Uh, we will do tactical bombers, uh, we will do fighters, and we'll do close air support. And that should be, yeah, it looks like we'd want to get a couple of each of those. A couple fighter wings. And there's just so many planes in here that it's like really difficult to find uh, the planes I'm looking for. And I just kind of try to scroll through here until I see the big number, uh, the ones that we've been building for a while. All right, and then we have uh, room for two more. So let's go ahead and go with uh, close air support. I think that would be useful here. And I think close air support's towards the bottom somewhere. No, 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 that's not right. It's the fighters towards the bottom. Here's close air support. So we have those close air support too. And you know what, we're just gonna send those. Oh, here we go. These are the ones we need. All right, so now we gotta find them again. It's just such a pain in the ass. There is a mod somebody uh, mentioned. Uh, that makes this larger, uh, so it's a little bit easier to find them. And, and making it bigger, I think, would make it slightly easier to find them, but at the same time, uh, there's you still got to scroll through this big, long list. Of course, you can delete equipment nowadays, so we could always go through here and like delete some of the old old planes if we really wanted to. Or try and uh, give them to somebody else, too. That's an option as well. Uh, give them to allies. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yes, the uh, ships. We need to manage our ships real quick. And yeah, just go ahead and get, uh, all the, again, all the level fours coming over here. And we're gonna take any level three uh, torpedo destroyer right there. And then these ones we don't want over here since these are mainly for sub hunting. Uh, so yeah, we'll actually move them over to here. And then uh, just take out one of the torpedo hunters, or excuse me, two torpedo destroyers that we have over there. Uh, we've now have gotten these guys up to 50. Let's go and place them over there. And then we'll just take out uh, one of their older destroyers here that they have. Uh, we'll just take one of the level twos out and then put them over to here. Just trying to build those guys up over there. And then we do have a uh, level four submarine. This will be the icon for our level four submarines. We're just gonna leave them right there for right now. We get like a little group of them. And yeah, we're just gonna have that alert continuing to pop up here. But yeah, I really, uh, we definitely are gonna join the war in this episode, guys, no doubt. Uh, so let's get this here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that this episode doesn't end without us at war with the Americans. Let me just take a look and see if we can stop. Uh, we should probably stop these ones. Yeah, oh, well they do have a destroyer they're currently training. Uh, we can stop them though. I know that we're getting the uh, the experience and all that good stuff, but 
yeah, at this point, I think it's about time, and we can let them continue to train. Uh, but yeah, I think it's about time to go ahead and stop training if we can. Uh, like for instance, this uh, crew, this carrier, excuse me, is still training up, so we're gonna let him continue. Uh, I did not do, uh, did not do the air wings yet. Yeah, these have not trained up, uh, so we could always train them up now. Uh, while, yeah, I think we can go ahead and train them up now. So we'll go ahead and do that. I do need to take a look at what we have here because as you can see, we got uh, weird. Um, yeah, it's kind of weirdly set up. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, I never did set those up when I was actually building them. So we're gonna wanna make some adjustments here. Uh, go ahead and just change up uh, what we've got on there. Uh, so we can do it up to 80 here. Uh, so we could do like 30 fighters. Yeah, we'll do 30 fighters. And then uh, 50 naval bombers. And then maybe like with this one, do uh, 35 fighters, 45 naval bombers. All right, excellent. And that should get us up to, yeah, uh, they, they just need to get there. Everything else looks, uh, I think these guys have all been done already, so we don't have to worry about them. Those are just our, our new planes. And then let's go ahead and get them training up while the fleet is exercising. Might as well do that. Uh, same thing with the other fleet uh, over here, which I have not done that yet. So, uh, are they still training? They might not be training. It looks like they're not currently training yet. Oh yes, that's right, because we're using them here. Uh, well, we're not. I put them in the port. That's right. So let's go and have them exercise, and then we're going to take the air wings and also have them uh, train up as well. Though you notice they actually have quite a bit more experience on here than. Uh, than our other ones, and they have to leave before we can do that. There we go. So get those exercise in as well. I hate that you have to push them both. Uh, I would just wish the air wings would exercise if the carriers were exercising, but you'd assume you'd want them to. All right, so very soon, guys. Very, very soon. Uh, yeah, we're, we almost got these guys done, and we did get the magnetic mines. And remember, all this is allowing us to get like these texts and stuff as well. So it's all, it's all helpful. Uh, naval mines avoidance plus 50% that would be useful uh, I'd really like to have them do more damage though so that'd be nice to have as well as to have our ships do more damage I suppose we should probably work on that yeah uh, we could do let's go ahead and do uh, this one here and we do have the experience to spend and I think we will yeah let's go and spend it on there all right we've got more troops and somebody told me that if you shift click this, it selects all of them. That's what I've been doing this episode. That's pretty helpful, guys. Thank you. Uh, Any things to make my life easier uh, with the hotkeys and stuff. All right. Uh, so, uh, again, we do have these guys, uh, and they brought Tibet in. Okay. I mean, that's not a big deal. I'm sure they'll join a faction or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, not, not a big deal. We'll get them knocked out. Though it does distract us overall. Uh and let's see, did they even have any troops on the border? Yeah, they didn't have any troops on the border. Uh, and they can't even attack there. All right, so that was a pretty useless attack right there, but whatever, do your thing, man, do your thing. Uh, oh, I thought somebody had landed here. I was like, what? Somebody made it across. It's gonna get all excited and shit. Yeah, but I don't think we'll be able to attack across here. Uh, hopefully this invasion here is successful. Uh, but yeah, we're really slowing down here <laughs> as well. I'm noticing we're on speed five and it's not quite going as fast as it typically does. Uh, so yeah, we're in October now. I guess we'll wait till November and then we'll take a look at the whole situation again and see how we're looking on getting everybody trained. Because uh, yeah, I'm really just trying to get all those ships and planes trained up. And if we and we don't have to get them all trained, of course. Uh, uh, so we have these guys, where can we send them? Uh, we don't have the equipment to replace any losses they take, so that's something to consider, something I hadn't even hadn't even uh, recalled. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do is we'll place them into this one and then move them over here. And then what else do we have here that we can take? Uh, we've got all these guys. Uh, do we have room? We do have room in that little purple army there. So let's go and place them uh, over there and get them moving to our islands again. Uh, I think this is the right one, right? Yeah, this is the right one. Uh, but they're pretty far away as of right now. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get I see, I don't even know what all islands we have uh, covered right now. I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just place them in, in a couple of them. Let's place one here. Uh, one over here. And then, let's see here. I'm just, again, I'm just trying to use these divisions for something. Uh, if we put them on a the front, they're just going to be garbage. Uh, and we don't really need to garrison anything right now. And there is this here. Uh, we'll move him over there, I guess. Maybe he'll finish that conquest up. 
Yeah, that'll work. We have free dockyards. Okay, did we finish up uh, building something? Not entirely sure. Seems like we did. Let's just take a look, see if there's any large ships over here. Yeah, we finished up uh, the battleship, the lion. All right, I didn't realize we had three battleships going, but yeah, we had three battleships going. Uh, so we finally got another battleship. That's awesome. Uh, I'm quite pleased with that. So what we're going to want, we're not going to build another battleship. Uh, we're just going to sign these five dockyards somewhere else. Let's put them into, I mean, we're, we're doing pretty good on convoys, but again, we could always do more convoys. Don't really care about the Muppets so much. Um, I suppose we could always use uh, more cruisers. Yeah, uh, let's do let's do another thing for cruisers here. I uh, never feel like I have enough light cruisers. So let's go ahead and get another uh, attack cruiser. And we'll just place them right underneath the other attack cruisers. Make sure that he gets placed in London. And we're just going to give him uh, a bunch of dockyards. And what we'll do is I feel like we don't need as many torpedo destroyers at this point. So let's pull from that so that we can go ahead and put as many into the uh, light cruisers as possible. All right. Uh, so we have uh, the battleship that's done. Let's go ahead and place them into here. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, I didn't think we would get that finished up. So yeah, now we have another battleship here. And so we might want to go ahead and increase the... Uh, and how are we doing on training? Yeah, we're doing okay. So we might want to increase the number of screens uh, that we have there. So any new screens will probably be going into that fleet. And besides, they're going to be taking losses here soon uh, as we uh, once we join the war. All right, let's take a look. Are these guys done yet? Okay, it looks like some of them have started to finish up. And we'll keep it playing as I look through here. Uh, I got this guy. Yeah, he's still training. That's fine. Uh, anybody else that needs to be stopped training? Yeah, we got one right here. So just try and stop all of our training, unnecessary training. Uh, again, it's not like fuel is a concern, but just so we know where we stand as far as getting everybody trained up here. Looking pretty good there. Yeah, these guys are looking good as well. They're almost done. It's taking a little bit longer than I thought to get all these guys trained up. Uh, I was expecting this to be done, but we will declare war before the end of the episode. I, uh, and I, I'll try not to make it so that we declare war at the very end of the episode, as so often typically happens. Uh, so I'll try. I'll try, guys. Let's go and put the, these guys over here. Looks like we don't really have any troops over there just yet. Uh, oh, we got the one there. Uh, they are taking attrition. Yeah, it's unavoidable, guys. Unavoidable, unfortunately. Come on. All right, so let's go and take... Um, though, yep, we're basing attrition through here in some of these regions anyway. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, it's a shame. And we are now taking attrition here again. Shit. I really think I might have to pull these guys back. I don't know, guys. Yeah, it just feels like there's no fixing it. I mean, I've got planes here, um, and that's obviously causing some problems. I mean, maybe if we took one closed air support out. That guy's actually training. Uh, just took one closed air support out and then moved them elsewhere. And just moved them over to, let me see here, where do we have room? Moved them over to here, I guess. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Um, so, yeah, it looks like... We're pretty close, guys. Pretty close, but not quite there. Uh, we did get another destroyer done over here. Let's go ahead and move them over to there. And we won't pull any out this time. Uh, and then, yeah, these guys are still training up. Are they looking good? They're pretty damn close, but we'll let them keep training for right now. Uh, though I don't know if they're getting bombed right there. It looks like they're safe for right now. All right. Yeah, we'll keep them training up then. And then we'd want to take all of them off about a month before we declare war or something so they get the organization up and, and uh, repair anything that gets damaged. All right, so we actually have civilian factories again. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, uh, I suppose we can get more nu nuclear reactors. Oh, well, looks like we're still building those. Never mind. Uh, we could do, let me just take a look here at the situation on the radar. Radar is looking pretty squared away, but you know what? We have neglected radar throughout our territories here. So let's go ahead and build up uh, radar right here and right here as well be able to detect the uh, enemies that go throughout here. Build it right there, too. Just make sure we have good radar coverage throughout here. All right, so it looks pretty good. Uh, we'll also build radar here, just in case. I, I doubt we'll need it. Uh, but, yeah, we have the uh, factories, so might as well. And then, you know what? Air bases uh, throughout here would be useful, too, for all those naval bombers that we have. So, yeah, let's go ahead and build some air bases here. We'll make use of those. Build one right there. Uh, looks like we already have an airbase there. We'll keep him there then. Or keep that one there. That's fine. And I, I suppose that's good for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and place some naval bombers here when I'm thinking about it. 
Uh, we'll just do like 100 naval bombers in these ones. Uh, one supply is an issue, and, and two, I just don't feel like we need to put a bunch. And we'll assign them now, because otherwise I will forget about that little guy. All right, let's get these guys placed over here, and I think we still have troops that we haven't assigned yet. Oh, maybe not. All right, look at this, like 62 divisions training right now. It's ridiculous. All right, so give it a little bit more time, guys. A little bit more time, I feel like we'll be ready. I'm just trying to get all these guys trained up here. And you know what? I think that's probably good to go ahead and stop all this now. Uh, though the battleship's not trained, that's right. I forgot we got a new battleship. Damn it. All right, I want to get him at least to the regular. So we got to wait a little bit longer. And get that line trained up to, not to regular, excuse me, up to uh, trained. So he's not getting a penalty, I mean. And they get uh, experience pretty damn quick. So if we get him up to train, I I'll feel like that's fine. So yeah, we'll get him finished up training. And then as soon as he's done, we'll go around the world and get ready for this conflict. So we're just going to let this fly. I'm not going to mess with anything. Just going to focus on this so I can see when he's done. So we can stop them from training. Damn it. I do have to mess with that, though. All right. Well, we have that. We will have to upgrade those. Let's go and get the approved anti-air. Uh, and we do need to get these guys assigned while we're looking at it. Oops. My bad. One over here. And then we want to... Where's my research slot? Oh, we already got that taken care of. That's right. Uh, we need to do production. Uh, we're getting an unfulfilled import request. Okay. Did they lose some of their territory? Uh, they might have. I don't know. All right. Let's go ahead and... Say we're not interested in trading with them any longer then. Uh, and go ahead and trade with, uh, let's see here, we'll trade with the Italians. They could use it. Uh, though somebody was saying trading with Canada, yeah, if we can trade with them one to give them a civilian factory for building, um, then yeah, we'll do that. Uh, they'll kind of be our, our top priority for trading, I suppose. And you know what? Uh, trading with the Australians would be wise as well. For the same reason, so they can kind of build up. All right, so we got that taken care of. Let's take a look again at this guy and see if he's done yet. He's almost there. And that's all I'm waiting for. There we go. And, oh. Uh-oh. So that was right here, guys, here in Brazil. That's where the, uh, I'm guessing the Americans just got the bomb, man. And they just dropped it here. Uh, I don't know why they chose to drop it there out of all places, but that's where they bombed. So the Americans have also been destroyed here. So I brought all these troops over here to help destroy them. But, yeah, now we don't. We don't need them there any longer. Um, but we'll keep them there for right now because maybe I'll use them to attack up this way. Maybe we'll do a naval invasion as well. Uh, that's also a possibility. But we've got to get control of the seas first. All right, so that happened right when we were uh, done training these guys. So let's go ahead and stop them from training. And uh, where are they at? Where are they at? And then get them going back to the naval base, which should also uh, stop them, uh, their their planes from training as well. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stop all that. Uh, they're not. I know they're not all full, fully trained, but that's okay, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get all of these guys assigned back to the locations, uh, and so they can repair up and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, and I know that we have a level 10 naval base somewhere. I thought we did. I thought we had built one. Uh, we have that one there where we could place them, I suppose. And that might be, in fact, where we place them. Yeah, because it looks like that's the biggest one. So we'll go ahead and place them over there. Uh, and then I think that was it. Uh, these guys need to stop training too, so we'll go ahead and stop them. Move them over here. We'll keep them for training. These are the, the shittier, the ones that we got from our, our, uh, our puppet when we annex them. Let's go ahead and place them, uh, the destroyer, into here. And then what we're going to want to do is just go and create like a new uh, submarine. I guess we just move them over here. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, we want them to go. Uh, we can put them over here. Yeah. And then again, these guys are the skull icon. And we're going to move them over to their new base, which is right there. All right. Is anybody else training? Yes, we have these guys still training. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop that. And we'll stop all these guys as well from training up. And then uh, let's go ahead and move them back over to here for right now. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because we're about to set them up to uh, actually start working here. Uh, so we'll, we'll get them repaired. Uh, we do want to repair them up there. And I want to say that's it. Yeah, we're good to go. So we just can just go ahead and uh, just turn this down so I can uh, go through here and stop any planes from training that uh, no longer need to be trained, uh, which would be this guy here. And anybody else? We still have him training. He's almost done. Might as well let him finish. Uh, and we can stop those guys from training. Actually, both of them. Let's go and stop that. And I don't think there's anybody over here. We did get hold Hong Kong. Uh, so I think we're done uh, with that. I, I suppose we're going to go after the Commonwealth, Commonwealth ties now? Yeah. I don't think we can go after... I don't think that these are beneficial at all to us. No. No, not at all. 
Don't need to fortify Malta. Not worried about that. Let's go out to the Commonwealth ties. It gives them good uh, bonuses to our, our allies. Uh, we could get the jet aircraft too, but let's go for this one first. I'm just going to decline all these. Soon, guys. Soon. <laughs> Oh, I gotta, I mean, you gotta admit, that's probably infuriating for our allies. We're over here the strongest power, and uh, we're just, like, refusing to, to join the alliance. So what I want to do is invade with 20 of our allied divisions here, guys. Uh, so we need, like, 20 decent division to, to do the invasion. Uh, it looks like it's going to be largely German, and I, I want to say we need 8. Because, uh, yeah, we have 12. Uh, so just... And just one more decent one. It's right there. There we go. And uh, let's get them placed. And there we go. We're at 20. Uh, we could get them all the way up to 24, but I think that's probably fine. Uh, and then, uh, remember, it's going to take a long time for them to, to train up here. Now, the rest of these guys can go ahead and get just get placed wherever. Like, this guy could uh, move over to here somewhere. I, I'm, I cannot remember which, which ones we're defending and which ones are not. I don't think we're defending that one. We'll go that one. All right, so we've got him going there. And now we just need to pull these other guys out. And I'm just going to create a little side army for right now to figure out where I want these guys to go. Because I don't want to manage this no more. And uh, it's just taking too much time. Uh, we're just trying to get this war started here. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want it to be at the very end of the episode. So uh, we're getting, And we're getting pretty damn close to the end of the episode. So we need to hurry up and get this done, guys. All right, so all these guys are done training. Excellent. Let's go ahead and stop that. Uh, and all these guys are done training as well. So let's stop all of them. And I'm assuming, yeah, they're not quite done, but almost. All right, so again, we're gonna give it like a month so that all of our ships can get repaired, uh, all that good stuff. And yeah, those guys are there. We could have trained them up, but it's fine. All right, so let's take a look here. Anybody still training? Yes, one more. Uh, we're not gonna bother training those. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, we're done. We're done exercising, guys. Pretty much anybody I find, we're gonna go ahead and stop their exercising whether they're done or not. All right, uh, yeah, we're gonna even stop these guys. It's fine. Just I don't want to forget. And anybody else throughout here still training? Looks like we are good to go. Well, we have one here that is exercising. Let's go and pull him back. And yep, these guys all done. All right, fantastic, guys. I want to say that's it. I uh, don't think we have any over here that are currently exercising. Uh, we do have uh, air bases that we're building up, though. That we could go ahead and, and uh, get some... Oh, looks like they're not done yet. I was going to say we could put some planes over there, but they're not quite ready. And that is going to allow us to modify our government before the war starts. Awesome. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. We could also get the field marshal over here. Uh, that's another option. Now let's go and get the, the bonuses here. There's some great stuff. Uh, like getting this attrition, I think, would be stupidly helpful because, you know, we're taking attrition in some areas. Uh, this one would be great as well. Uh, that would help us in the conflict. And if we want to get anything for our ships, then now would be the time to get it, guys. Uh, I, I feel like we should get, if we're going to get a ship one, we should get that first. Uh, screen attack and defense. No, let's get the naval strike, guys. Uh, I feel like this is going to be really useful since we're going to be relying on our naval bombers quite a bit. So yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be worth it getting it. All right, so we got left over here. Get these guys training. And again, any troops that are, are done training, we're just going to put into that one side army here because I just don't want to mess with it right now. Never gonna get this war started as it is. So, uh, and we got that excellent. Uh, so, what do you want to get next? Uh, we are still getting one here, yes. Uh, and we're just gonna keep on focusing on naval tax, guys. I think it's uh, gonna be pretty useful to get as many of these as possible. Uh, we will continue up here first. Uh, we could do this one uh, torpedo reveal chance. Yeah, let's get that. We'll get that in 69 days. Uh, we do have civilian factories as well. Good God, man. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I guess we can build this one all the way up. Uh, is the port? Yeah, the port's already built all the way up there. Uh, so we already have that done. Yeah, we got that taken care of. Civilian factory is kind of a pain in the ass getting these these all signed. Honestly, we're all built up over here as well. Yep, all built up there. Uh, so I guess just more nuclear reactors. I guess we can put them in Ireland. Yeah, I'll give them something to do. All right, so now we just need to wait. Um, how many ships do we currently have uh, repairing right now? And maybe we'll just do it in 1946, January 1st, 1946, guys. So let's just take a look and see how many ships we currently have repairing. Not much. Not much at all. All right, nice. I thought that was going to be a problem. A lot of ships are going to be uh, repairing, but they're not. All right, we also have more troops to just kind of pull out and put over here for right now because I just want to get this started, guys. 
I'm probably not gonna be able to do a naval invasion of Miami. I highly doubt that's gonna work out. Uh, yeah, that's pretty unlikely. Do we have any troops of our own? We do not. I was gonna put them into here, but yeah, we don't have any. Yeah, we'll set up some another naval invasions, guys. But first, we gotta win in the seas anyway. Uh, and I don't want to send any more troops into the. That's another reason why I think we should leave these guys here. I don't want to put any more into the seas. As of right now, I'm just trying to get the troops that we've already put into the seas uh, moved and get the hell out of there. So yeah, no reason to move any more troops over here. All right, yeah, you can see that they're taking massive attrition. And they do not have the amount of divisions to, to stop and advance here, so we likely will advance uh, immediately. Uh, and we did get that knocked out too. Excellent, so we do have the strategic bombers. And I will go ahead and start building those. I don't know that we'll get the better ones right now. There's just too much other stuff to get. Uh, we still haven't even knocked these out yet, so let's go ahead and continue here. Let's get that fighter agility. And we will sp not spend the experience for that. All right. So, uh, what the, what was it that, it, oh yes, we need to build the, uh, strategic bombers. Uh, and it looks like there may be some other stuff too that I need to get. Uh, so let's go and get these guys moving up. Yeah, it looks like I didn't update the tactical bombers yet. Right, and then we're just gonna put like, uh, five factories into that. Uh, it gives us two per month. This is what we'll do, we'll five times here, and then let's just do, we'll do 10 per month. Here, that'll give us one per week, I mean, excuse me, I'm at 10 factories, that'll give us one per week. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and update the tactical bombers here. Where are they at? Tactical bomber threes. And that will require us to trade for a ton more resources, guys. And it looks like we also have advanced anti tanks. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those updated as well. Where are we at here? Here we go. Yeah, just kind of falling behind on updating stuff. All right, there we go. Uh, so we need to trade for those resources. Uh, don't know. Yeah, it looks like Australia has one more to give us. So we're going to trade for that. And uh, the Greeks have a little bit more to trade too if we wanted to trade with them, which I would prefer trading with with uh, allies um, other than Italy. Because, yeah, they have quite a bit. I think that should be enough. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's not even close, guys. Let's go up to 24 here. And we might need to trade with the Italians. Uh, there's also the Chinese, but they are not an ally, if I'm not mistaken. I actually don't remember if they are or not. I don't even know who the hell all of our allies are. And trade with them, and then yeah, we might need to trade with Italy, guys, just because I don't want to have to go down that list and find who all still has some for us. All right, so remember January first, guys, just just because uh, that's when we're going to join. And again, that gives our troops as much time to kind of move around. Everybody get where they need to get to. And any moment here, and we'll do it in the morning. There we go. All right, so we are ready. We're going to turn that down to speed two. Let's go ahead and join this goddamn conflict, guys. Uh, oh, we will have to have them accept it. Uh, they are not in the conflict yet, the, the Canadians yet. So let's go ahead and we'll just uh, talk to the Italians here. Let's join the war, man. All right, so we're going to go ahead and set up all of our stuff now before we're actually in the war. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, you got just an absolute ton of planes here. And we're going to have... Probably almost all of them focused here on uh, California. Yeah. Uh, well, we could put some over here as well. Let's go ahead and do this. So I know what we have here. Uh, I wonder why they can't go there. Interesting. Only he can. Uh, that's interesting. You can't even... Even though you... That's kind of weird. <laughs> that should not be the case, man. Yeah, that should not be the case. It's just because the air zone is so large. Uh, so yeah, we can't uh, can't do anything there. That kind of sucks. Because I wasn't going to use him for that. I was going to use him to do... And I'm not going to use him for that. He's going to do uh, strategic bombing. Uh, that's what I wanted him to do there in California. That's the whole reason why I put him there. Uh, we're going to try and hurt the infrastructure. We're just going to try and destroy everything, actually. Uh, air bases. Yeah, I don't see too much that we're not going to... Other than maybe fortifications. I don't see any reason to bomb those. But pretty much everything else we're going to want to to hit... Yeah. So, whoops. So yeah, we'll have them do that. Uh, it's not much, uh, but it should help. But yeah, I don't know why they won't let me assign. I mean, well, I know why. They're saying that we don't have the range, but... Well, we can go there, but... Yeah, that's unfortunate, guys. Um, hmm. Can, like, none of them go? What about the, the better ones? Nope. They just don't have the coverage. Well, that's a real shame. I guess we'll have to go here, then. Yeah, that's good. that's irritating. All right, well, whatever. Nothing to be done about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and have uh, 
We'll go into here in case we are attacking. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly how that's going to go down. In fact, we should probably split it. Yeah, let's go and split it. Uh, so let's go and have these guys do their missions. And then we'll just take a couple of them and uh, have them focus down here. All right, awesome. And then same thing here. Let's go and have them all signed over to here. And then just take like a couple of them. Uh, and then we also want to move that one as well. Uh, but yeah, let's just take a couple of them and have them work out here for us. And looks like might need to move a little bit more down there, guys. We do have the planes here as well. All right, so these guys, their job is, again, going to be the same thing as the other or tactical bombers, I should say. Just to destroy stuff here. And you know what, if there's any fort, you know what, they can just destroy everything, whatever. I mean, I guess you don't need to click on it if you do it that way, but whatever. Because uh, then it's just, yeah, you don't really care what they bomb. All right, so uh, let's go and get these planes all assigned as well. Uh, so we have quite a few down here, uh, a lot more than we have elsewhere. And these guys are going to operate here for us, doing naval strikes, since our uh, ships will be operating there. I don't want any problems if we can avoid it. All right, let's have these guys all do their missions. And we're actually looking decent here. So what we're gonna do is take them and have them go over there. And they'll stay here. All right, awesome, so good to go there. Uh, and yeah, this is gonna be largely what we do this episode, uh, is uh, just basically get all of our people assigned to their jobs. Uh, I don't know that they'll actually get to to do them. Uh, so I had these guys here, uh, but help out, and I guess they still can help out. Uh, there's no reason why they can't help out here. Uh, doing uh, strategic bombing, I suppose. I think anything will help, although I think I had signed him over here somewhere. Oh, the United States did an invasion there. Holy shit. All right, so that's why we lost that. I thought that was something else. All right, well, it's a good thing we have troops here then. Uh, we actually have troops here to help us out now. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do is just take a few of these guys out. Don't need to bring them all over there. And I don't like three divisions. Uh, we'll be fine there. And move the rest of them on over here. All right, so that's good to know. I'm glad I saw that, because yeah, I had no idea. I was like, why the hell did I lose that? Uh, so yeah, we want them to help us with close air support here. Uh, same thing with these guys. They'll provide close air support as well. And uh, yeah, the fighters aren't gonna be able to reach. That's fine. Uh, we want them here anyways. And get the naval bombers. All right, so that looks good. Uh, and then, of course, we now have too many planes here because those ones flew out of there, but that's okay. All right, so let's do a close air support. My bad. We want to do naval strikes here as well. Right there. I keep putting them on close air support. Naval strikes. All right, so we've got naval strikes going throughout there. Let's go ahead and get all the planes here assigned, which there is a lot of them, guys. And, and some of these are for the invasion that we're not yet doing, so uh, we will... We will put them there just in case they want to battle us. Um, yeah, we'll put them there. Uh, so let's go ahead and take, uh, we'll take one fighter wing and put them there. And then I know that we have a close air support that can come here as well. And if they want to battle us, whatever. I know we don't have like super high efficiency, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna want to bomb here. I'm hoping that we can really engage them there. And then also put the fighters here to help us out. All right, do we assign these ones? We did, excellent. Uh, so now we need to get these guys assigned here, uh, which we're gonna take all of these, assign them right here, uh, naval strikes and air superiority. And then we have these guys that are also gonna be helping out with uh, doing naval strikes a little bit further away. And then we have this one, he can hit pretty much that entire zone. Uh, so yeah, we will have him go there then. And so everybody's assigned here. Now we need to go ahead and get uh, our planes here assigned. Although Canada's not in yet, so I guess there's no reason to do that just yet, uh, since the Canadians aren't aren't into the conflict. We'll have to wait until they join. All right, so we have that taken care of. Uh, and yeah, we won't we won't bother with any of that until the Canadians actually join the conflict. So I have to remember to do that. Uh, and I think that's it. I think all the planes over there are assigned. Uh, now we just need to get uh, ships assigned. Uh, so let's go and start working on the navy then get them going and doing their tasks uh, and we actually have more ships that can go into here uh, so let's go ahead and get these guys assigned so we have level four attack cruiser we'll get that uh, placed first in fact i'm just gonna place all these guys into there and not even bother taking any out all right uh so let's go ahead and do a strike force mission here for these guys uh these guys will also be on strike force 
And then we're going to get the patrols out. Um, they will be doing patrols. Uh, though it looks like they're trying to move here. Uh, they might not all be here, perhaps. Uh, yeah, they're going to do patrols, and then we need to get them assigned. They don't have uh, uh, any locations. We're not going to patrol the eastern seaboard, guys. Mm -mm. Nah, that wouldn't be good. Instead, we're just going to patrol these three regions is where we're going to attempt to engage the enemy, uh, where we have the most naval coverage. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. And two strike force, three patrol fleets, and then of course we have these guys here, uh, which it uh, doesn't really matter. They can both stay here if that's where they're at right now. All right, uh, and then we have these guys. They've already been assigned. They're already doing their job. Been doing their job for a little while. Uh, so let's go and take all these submarines and put them onto convoy rating. I don't know if they have zones yet. I don't think so. Uh, so let's go ahead and get them uh, doing. They're going to be operating all throughout this territory, guys. Uh, that's why we give them so many ships or so many uh, task force excuse me and I don't think we'll need to yeah they probably won't be going through there I'd assume they wouldn't be yeah we'll hit these areas up here I uh, don't think we'll have to worry anybody about anybody there we will go here though all right so that looks pretty good uh, and I am gonna go ahead and make this uh, mark this as being blocked uh, so no, none of our ships attempt to go through there which means that the mine lane fleet uh, they, they won't go through there anyway, because, yeah, we got that fixed. Uh, so the convoy raiders, I, I guess I do want them going there, though. All right, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll keep the convoy raiders there, uh, and we'll just take the mine the mine guys out. Oops, shit. Damn it, my bad. My bad, guys. Uh, I just meant to pull that out. I always hit the wrong button there. All right, so the, they'll just continue laying mines throughout here, uh, though, yeah, I don't think there's any point to mi uh, of mining that area up. All right, so they're going to lay the mines there. And let's go ahead and go back to the red guys. Are they all secure? Yeah, they are. And then we want to make sure these guys are doing their job. Yeah, they're good to go. Uh, we still got the mine layers here doing their job. Uh, and then we want to set these guys on, uh, where are they at? Strike Force. And so I didn't build these guys quite up as high as I probably should have. That's okay. And so they're going to be patrolling in the homeland area. And looks like they got some enemy that's uh, patrolling the North Sea right now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we'll just have them patrol the home area here. And yeah, just see if they can find the enemy. Obviously, they don't really have much patrols. So it's going to be kind of limited on what they can do. Uh, and then we want all these guys here to do convoy raiding. And we're going to assign that one to them. And then what we're going to want to do is get them uh, a region to do the convoy raiding, which is going to be here, here, and then all the way up, skipping the western seaboard just like so. And then we'll have to have an Asian uh, thing of submarines do that right there. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully that's good. All right, so they'll take care of that for us. And yeah, those guys are here. They can actually move to the, the Pacific here. Kind of avoid some of the confusion. All right, so these guys are already doing their job. Let's go ahead and get uh, these guys all set up. We want them to do strike, for mission, strike force mission. And these guys are already doing their patrols here. Awesome. Uh, and I don't see us changing this up much. Do the patrols right there. Again, I don't really want to engage them out this way. Uh, I have no interest in, in fight, fighting them there. In fact, we probably shouldn't even fight them right there. No, we should only fight them along the coast here where we can provide uh, our, some air support for our, our ships. Yeah, so that's fine. Uh, and let's go ahead and get the submarines assigned. Uh, looks like they're already all doing their jobs. Okay, excellent. So what we want to go ahead and do is, is just give them a little bit more, uh, a little bit more territory to cover. Uh, we don't really need to cover that one anymore, uh, but I do want them coming up to the Barian Sea. We're going to put them over here as well, and we're just going to have them take care of like all this region for us. Anybody who's going across here, we're going to try and hit up. And we're even going to go to Hawaii. We'll see how that ends up going. Uh, in fact, this is quite a bit. We might have these guys take care of Hawaii for us, actually. Yeah, let's have them go to uh, go that far. Yeah, that looks good. All right, so yeah, any uh, enemy ships that are coming through here are going to get hit kind of hard. That's the ideal, anyway. All right, so we have uh, these guys covering a lot more than they probably need to. We'll have them covered there now. And I don't, yeah, I don't see any reason why we have to cover right there. We do have some supplies coming throughout this territory. But again, I'm not too worried about it, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull back. 
Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. As long as we got this taken care of here. Yeah, if we start getting hit here, then we'll move them. Um, right now, these are, this is the area that I'd like them to concentrate on, protecting from the American submarines. Until then, though, I feel like we're all right. All right, so I think everybody's assigned, and we just declared war. So we're ready to go. Let's let it play here. And there we are. We are not, they haven't accepted yet. That's right. We gotta wait for them to accept the, the Italians. Come on, man, you're ruining my time zone. What the fuck, man? I thought we sent that. Huh. Maybe I can't send it to them. Maybe I need to send it to somebody else. I don't know. That's kind of weird, man. Uh, what is the, who's the war considered to be between? All right, he's got the Philippines. I mean, yeah, we should. It doesn't really matter who you ask. We should be able to join the conflict. I don't know why we can't join right now. We might have to wait till somebody sends us a request. Yeah, because we're not, we're not joining in. Damn it! Come on. Here we go. Cut arms. We accept. All right, so we are now at war with the Americans. And it is like the end of the episode, I'd figure. Uh, but uh, I said I was gonna try not to make it the end of the episode, but it did take so long to get everything set up. Uh, so let's go ahead and start our attacks here. Uh, we got our ships all assigned. Let's go ahead and attempt to attack up that way. Uh, this is gonna go real, real slow, guys, uh, for obvious reasons. I'm gonna try and attack here. Uh, we are having some supply issues. Can we get a win there? We cannot. All right, let's go and pull that back then. Come on, pull back, pull back. <laughs> uh, we might have to actually just attack. Yeah, we'll just attack with all these guys. We should be able to get a win there. Yes, we can get a win there. Awesome. Uh, and then we're gonna want to attack. Uh, I'm gonna try up a, an attack up the coast here. Just support with these guys here. All right, looking good. Uh, and then I'm gonna really try and get a uh, breakthrough here. This is where I wanna get the win. Uh, or right there. Looks like that one's green. All right, excellent. Uh, and accept, you can join. Uh, let's go ahead and actually pull everybody in. If they're not already. I think everybody should be pulled in. No, no. All right, so let's call them in. Yeah, everybody's in now, awesome. All right, so let's take a look and see what's already happened here. Sunk of American convoy already. Uh, we should be having like battles everywhere. Let's just take a look and see some of the naval combats here. So these are uh, them engaging our submarines. I'm gonna sink in those convoys. Uh, we have uh, three American troop convoys. Our submarines have engaged already. Awesome. Uh, three more American troop convoys. So yeah, we're just gonna be sinking a ton of Americans in the sea. There's more. Uh, here's another American troop convoy. I do have uh, ships actually protecting their troops though, so that's interesting. Uh, they actually are out there protecting them, so submarines aren't gonna be able to get easy kills. Uh, it's gonna be hard to get these kills here. Uh, and here is us defending against American submarines. Okay, so I think that's I think that's all of them. I'm not seeing any big battles. That's what I was looking for is big battles that were going on, uh, but none of those yet. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and make sure that we have control of the skies now. Uh, dip back over here, see how things are going. Uh, and yeah, sunk a few American convoys here. Let's hope that those are troop convoys. All right, so um, yeah, it's, it's just such a bummer they won't let me assign these guys here, uh, these fighters. Yeah, just because of the nature of the California situation. Uh, so let's go and attempt an attack up here. They are attempting to leave here. In fact, I almost want to let them leave because yeah, they're just pulling troops. I don't know what they're doing, man. I have no idea what they're doing. Uh, this is across a river. I don't know if it's worth it attacking across a river, especially when our troops aren't exactly powerful. This is where we want to do our attack. You know, so we'll just let them leave. If they want to leave, I'll let them leave. Yeah, we'll let them leave there, guys, uh, before we do the attack. Uh, is there anywhere else where I need to be attacking? Uh, we're defending here. Uh, we're bringing more troops as well to come over there. Uh, let's just go ahead and dip over to the Asia situation real quick. Japan, just make sure there's nothing here I need to be aware of since I'm not going to be paying attention to this front for a little while. I uh, like to see how long until these guys are ready to go, which I think it's these guys here. Uh, and it looks like they could actually be sent, but we won't Yeah, we won't send them yet. We need to get a commander there as well, uh, so I do notice that. Do we have commanders here? We do not have a commander here, so let's go and place one here. And we're going to want one that gives us a supply bonus. Um, Cunningham would, uh, and I think that's who will sign. I think that'll help a little bit. Uh, who do we assign for the yeah, Dempsey's here in the, with the Red Army? All right, yeah, they're still taking attrition there, guys. I'm gonna, I'm really thinking about pulling them out of there. All right, so these guys are gone in mere hours. 
And then we're going to attack San Diego. Uh, though... Looks like they pulled back for a second. All right, so let's go and attack San Diego now with everything we've got. And there we go. Should get a win. Uh, so that's big. Uh, how are we looking here? Still winning right there. Awesome. Uh, did we win here? We did win right there. Okay, so very good news. Let's go and send these guys in as well. Uh, and we will go ahead and send these troops in too. Uh, though maybe it's better to wait if he's, yeah, he's going to be gone soon. We'll just let him go then. All right, so we're still winning here. Again, just trying to cut off these troops here. And, and this is going to be very slow going, guys. Uh for obvious reasons uh, we got so many areas we're fighting in and uh we don't want to make any mistakes uh, let's go ahead and uh, dip around here and see what happened here so we did lose a plane right there okay and yeah just attempting to do some bombing throughout here and another american convoy sunk there and another one sunk here all right so these are all those troop convoys but i think each troop is like three convoys, so yeah, if you only sunk one, then you didn't actually sink the, the division, I believe. I could be wrong on that one, but I think that's how, how it works. It looks like we might be losing here. It's hard to say, but I don't want to put any more divisions over there because, uh, you know, we'd just be stretching the supply to its limits. All right, so yeah, we're going to win there. We're going to get San Diego. That's going to be huge. Um, let's go ahead and pull these guys in. I thought they were already pulled in, but let's go ahead and make sure they're pulled in. Yeah, so this is going to be really big for us. Uh, getting into California. They don't have enough troops to defend their main territory because they got so many down here. Looks like we did win there as well. Awesome. Uh, so that's good news. We could bring some ships over here to help support these attacks if we end up having trouble. Uh, we do have those ships over there that can do the damn thing. Uh, looks like we are engaging. Awesome. This is what I wanted to take a look at. So we're coming over here to engage these guys here because uh, it looks like, yeah, we're about to attempt to, to fight this, this carrier uh, task force. Let's take a look here. Sunk. Uh, well, it's four Italian convoys are sunk. We didn't sink nothing. All right, so yeah, here's another one as well. We're attempting to gauge them. Oh, it looks like we might be stretched a little bit, guys. All right, so let's go put these guys over here. Let them join. Uh, replace the light cruisers that we will definitely lose. Uh, so we're getting Mexican territory back from, uh, and then we're going to attempt to attack. All right, so let's go here then. So you can actually stay here then. And then we're going to want to attack over there and try and get that port. Because remember, they are cut off right here. So that would result in all those divisions getting destroyed. Uh, let's go ahead and keep on pushing forward, guys. Uh, let's go and push forward there. We're going to push forward here as well. We'll leave uh, We'll leave one division here, I guess. Let's go ahead and push forward there. And, yeah, just waiting for that big battle to happen. Uh, so troop convoys, we're just going to dip through these. This is pretty important uh, that we don't... I don't want to miss any of the naval battles, guys. The big naval battles. You get them so rarely. Uh, we haven't had that many in this campaign yet. Uh, because, you know, Japan was kind of a joke. Uh, and then, you know, the French and the... You know, there wasn't really anybody else. Uh, it's just the Americans, uh, really, that can compare to us other than Japan. So with Japan being kind of a joke, yeah, we didn't really get any of the, the big battles. All right, so these are all just convoys here. Let's take a look at what happened here. Sunk another convoy. Just trying to dip through these guys. Convoy sunk, and yeah, those are just. I think I guess the best way to do this, rather than dipping through here, is to actually just look where our fleets are. Okay, so it looks like he's going back, uh, and yeah, we're still attempting to locate those guys there. They're scared, guys. They're running from us. Basically, is what what I'm getting from that. All right, so we do control the skies over here, uh, so that's nice. We could invade here. There's nobody here to stop us. Let's push forward, guys, into Texas, and let's take those oil supplies. Wow, yeah, what the hell are the Americans doing? I mean, I'm not going to complain, but, yeah, this is, like, super stupid on their part. And yeah, they're just uh, leaving this, like, wide open for us. Uh, so let's go ahead and push forward here as well. Let's go straight to Los Angeles, guys. We even give them a little light tank support there. Uh, we'll let those guys leave, uh, and then we'll have... I don't want too many of these guys leaving here. Yeah, let's just have you guys stick around here. So push forward that way. All right, man. Yeah, I don't know what the Americans are doing. Uh, but, yeah, they are making some big mistakes here, guys. This is... Yeah, and then we should be able to attack here now. Let's go and attack. Uh, we cannot win there. Oh, damn. All right, what about with those guys helping out? All right, let's try again. <laughs> Uh, well, I guess I'll let them. I'll let them get all to their places. Uh, get that planning bonus back up and stuff. I suppose I don't need to rush it, guys. Let's take a look here. American convoy sunk. Okay. Uh, did we have any battles yet, man? Uh, here looks like they weren't able to damage us at all. They have a little bit of damage though. We did sink three of their convoys. 
And man, we're gonna have to end soon, guys. It's a shame. Uh, but yeah, this is already getting kind of long. And uh, I know it's the big, it's the big episode, but yeah, I can't have it going forever. All right, so yeah, looking pretty good so far in the sea. Um, and here's their fleet. They have four carriers, uh, four carriers, um, six heavy cruisers, two battleships, 36 destroyers, and 11 light cruisers. That's quite the fleet. That's a large fleet right there. And that's the one we're going to try and engage, try and get them into combat here, uh, where we have our naval bomber support. And it looks like we are able to win here. Excellent. These guys are still pulling back. We're going to continue to let them. We won't attack them. We'll let them pull back uh, if that's what they want to do. Uh, sunk four convoys there. Okay. And did we win here? We did win here, so this will result in them getting cut off. Let's go ahead and push forward here. Uh, yeah, we'll push forward with these guys uh, and try and grab that up before that guy gets there. And that will result in all those guys cut off, so that's more Americans that we'll get to destroy here. And uh, we did win here as well. Let's go ahead and make sure that all the divisions are pushing forward there. And yeah, we're just going to try and seize that port uh, as quickly as possible. We could also, if we get a win there, that would also cut these guys off. But again, we're not going to, we're just going to try and get the port. Uh, get the port, and they're all cut off, so it's irrelevant. Having supply issues here. Uh, we have to wait till those divisions leave. And how are we doing here? We did win there. Uh, so let's go ahead and push forward here now. Yes, sir. Let's bring, yeah, we'll just bring both of these guys over that way. Let's go ahead and push forward and grab that territory up. Uh, just looking for other border provinces that are not uh, defended. Uh, you know what, I think I'm going to have one of these guys go that way. Uh, we are having an attack there. Okay, well that's not desirable. Let's get behind them uh, and cut them off. All right, we do have more troops here. Need to get put into the training army. I assume we have some that are done training. No, we do not. All right, guys. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to end this. It's getting long. It's getting a long episode here. All right, got some more comedy. So we're just gonna dip through here and see what we did. No more playing. Uh, it's time to end it. Uh, we do need to trade for more resources though, so we'll go ahead and do that now. While I'm looking at it. Uh, we have outdated equipment in production. Uh, the Audacious, yes, that's right. That's okay. Uh, that's, of course, our carrier. I'm just going to dip through here and see how we're doing on Convoy Sunk. It looks like we're doing pretty damn good. Haven't seen any of our own Convoy Sunk. We, we sunk our first American ship there, light cruiser. All right, awesome. More convoys. Just kind of dip through here. And, yeah, did a bit more damage to their fleet. So, at the very least, their fleet will be damaged when they engage ours. Yeah, a little bit of damage. That carrier, in fact, is almost, it's a 1936 carrier hole, though. Uh, but yeah, it's almost sunk already. All right, awesome. So yeah, our bombers are going to be the way that we're going to get the win against the American fleet, guys. Uh, we've lost a couple planes here and there, but overall, um, not bad, guys. Not bad at all. Let's go through here. Got those three American convoys sunk. Okay, so I think that's it. This is the one. This is the one right here, guys. Here's the big battle. Uh, so we actually do have a big battle going here now. And this is against uh, Helsey, uh, Admiral Helsey. Uh, and, you know, he was a big star in the Pacific, uh, American Admiral in the Pacific. He was a really good uh, carrier admiral. And, then, of course, we have Cunningham. And uh, as far as who's the superior, as far as their uh, skills go, you can see Cunningham is much better overall in all his skills for the most part. I think, yeah, I think he's higher. Well, he's tied, he's tied in attack. Uh, tie, okay, maybe not quite better, but better in a couple. <laughs> That's what's important. Uh, so you can see we do have uh, a few more uh, bombers than they do. Our destroyers aren't quite here yet. Uh, we still have 10 more destroyers arriving, but we have 27 destroyers compared to their a lot more. Overall, it looks like they do have uh, the numbers. We each have uh, four carriers, um, but again, our carriers have more planes on them. They're more up to date than their carriers. They are, uh, these are old carriers. Uh, yeah, pretty old carriers. Uh, remember, our, our battleships are also all new battleships uh, for the most part that are here. Uh, so uh, pretty decent uh, battleships compared to their very early. Uh, yeah, these are very old battleships here. Uh, so for the most part, we we don't have the numbers, but we have better ships. Uh, however, look at these uh, traits he's got. He's got some decent traits uh, as well. I mean, we have the superior uh, tactician, so... I suppose none of these are really going to affect it. Yeah, none of these are going to affect the battle here, uh, his traits. So, yeah, I think we have the, the traits. We have the better ships, uh, but they have the numbers. We all, both have full screening as well. Uh, you can look at the uh, total attack value of all of our uh, guns here. Uh, light guns, we've got the the win there. Uh, heavy guns, we I mean, we got a lot more light guns, actually. Yeah, look at that. Uh, heavy guns, we have slightly more. Uh, a, lot, well, a little bit more torpedo power, I, sh I should say. Uh, and then, of course, we have way better anti-air than they do, and way better uh, depth charges, too, although that doesn't really affect this. There's no, no submarines involved. 
So I think we should be able to win this, guys. I think we should be able to win this uh, this battle here. We'll just have to see. Uh, we'll have to take a look at that. Uh, I really want to follow that uh, next episode. So uh, also, I don't even think we have the our, our uh, ground-based naval bombers in here. If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to take a look here. Yeah, I don't think we have the ground-based naval bombers. Uh, yeah, these are all on our, our carrier. So uh, we have the bombers here that should come and help provide uh, some support. Although it looks like, yeah, yeah, they should be able to provide support there. Really, we need more naval bombers here. Uh, that's not quite enough. Uh, so maybe we'll put a few more in next episode. That is going to be the end of this one, though, guys. I'm excited to see what goes on in the, in the naval war because yeah, how often do we have these big old huge uh, uh, battles with, uh, you know, another uh, naval power who's not only... Um, uh, I mean, I guess we can take a look at his ships here. Uh, oh, he, he's actually lost uh, several ships. He's been fighting the Italians this whole time. Uh, so, and yeah, they've lost about 20 ships since we last looked at them, which is about what the, the Americans lost, I would say. Oh, well, we don't really know how many exactly they had, I think. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they might have lost maybe 20 ships or so. Uh, maybe against the Italians, plus we sunk that one there. Uh, so, I think we now have the larger navy. Yeah, we built up quite a bit of uh, ships since since then. So yeah, we have the larger navy now, but still, they have a very large navy, and this is their coastal waters. Uh, so something to consider. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what happens uh, in the naval war. Uh, and it looks like we're also engaging... Yeah, there are, these must be troop uh, convoys that are coming to the Philippines. Uh, more, yeah, more than likely, those are troop convoys coming to the Philippines. Uh, so yeah, we'll have uh, uh, all those guys that will be able to sink. And then hopefully we can get these guys knocked out by taking out their port there. Uh, we're going to have big wins here where lots of troops are going to die. Uh, we can already take a look at the casualty situation. And let's just call everybody in, whoever's not in. Who's not in? I think everybody's in. Yeah, we'll do that just in case. Uh, but let's um, let's let it play for just a second. See if anybody joins. Oh, Canada hadn't joined yet. All right, so Canada is now in the war. Um, I didn't even think about the fact that yeah. Well, <laughs> they're now in now. So uh, shit, I forgot all about Canada. All right, so Canada's now in. Uh, so I have a feeling that that's gonna go bad. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well, uh, we'll live with it. But just looking at the overall conflict so far, guys, uh, looking at the Americans, uh, they've taken 836,000 casualties. We've already done 130,000, and we just joined. We literally just joined, and we've already killed 130,000 Americans uh, compared to losing 1.3 thousand of our own. That's not bad. Uh, that's about 10 Americans dead for every British soldier dead. Uh, and I think the most of those were probably in the sea, uh, sinking convoys. Uh, so you're going to see that this is going to become a lot more even now, uh, now that we've joined the conflict, guys. And look at the field of manpower. Uh, yeah, we have quite a bit more. Uh, so yeah, I think that the war against the Americans is going to go pretty well. Look at this. We're already conquering their oil fields over here. Uh, and yeah, they're not even doing anything to stop us. Uh, yeah, this is this is bad. I don't know why they pulled so many. Why they pulled the troops back. We'll take it. But yeah, this is where all their oil is. In California and in Texas. Uh, they have oil in other locations uh, as well. But that's where the majority of their oil is. So... If we take uh, both Texas and California out, they won't have any oil, uh, so they're going to be uh, hurting. So we'll have to see how this goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this extra long episode. I thought that we should go a little bit into the war. Um, but again, we're going to go pretty slow going here, guys, since we are tr really trying to uh, fight on all these different fronts. And, and I really want to pay attention to the naval conflict as well. Uh, we have cut these guys off, so we need to get them destroyed. We'll do that next episode, too. But yeah, I wanted to go over a little bit just so that uh, we could do this this war just a bit. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Hope to see you on that next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.